ಪದಗಳು ಮೇಕ್ ಕಂಜಿ ಕಂಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಓನ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನಲ್ ಫರ್ಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಂಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ಪರ್ಪಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ವಿ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಟು ರೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅವೇಲೇಬಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಐಮ್ ಗೋನ್ ಶೇರ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ and uh, the ingredients are really simple and the beauty of this is that actually you can just make sure you have a batch going at any given time and even if you are traveling and you want to still take care of uh, consuming probiotic rich uh, food or drinks you, as long as you have a jar and you have access to a local market you can make this anywhere if you are going for a longer stay uh, where you have access to ba- basic kitchen equipment so let's dive in and see how to make kanji So for making a kanji we are using carrots whichever ones you have in season uh if you have the black or purple ones great or just use regular carrots uh, we're going to use beets uh, remember to keep the skins of both the vegetables intact after of course having sterilized them and of course also sterilizing the jar that you're using and we're going to use uh mustard salt and uh, red chili powder and the way to make it uh, work for you even in summer is to just skip the mustard and chili powder or use very less of it because these are the elements that add to the heat uh, in our body so if you skip this you can still make the kanji right through the year so we'll begin now in a jar which is large enough to take about 5 to 6 cups of water just pour the water in mix in the salt chili powder you can of course adjust it as per your preference i don't like things very spicy so i'm going to keep it mild and then give this a nice mix and now we add all the carrots and the beans once we have done this the important thing is to place this lid nicely on the mouth of the jar and there are two ways people do it some people like to place it in the sun every day and bring it back inside uh in the night even if you don't manage to do that if you just keep it in one place in your kitchen that's fine but uh keeping it in the sun gives out a really nice flavor and accelerates the fermentation and it happens a little more quickly these are one of the uh, few ferments which we keep in the sun while the rest of them are usually kept in a dark spot so we keep this for between 3 to 5 days uh you can every day just open this give it a quick mix like this and put the lid back on and after the third day start tasting it whenever you feel it's tangy and tarty enough and it's gone sour that's when you know your kanji is ready now let me show you what a ready kanji looks like this is the beautiful color of a ready kanji to be able to consume this once it's ready uh, people do two things one is they continue to leave the carrots and beet in uh, for the flavors to get even more rich or they strain it out and then use the carrots or the uh, beets as a part of salad or make a quick pickle with it so the first step would be to strain so we take this beautiful ready ferment and strain it out the colors of the vegetables are still very much intact so this is what you can use in salads or make a quick pickle with the kanji is best had as a shot before lunch or with lunch because that's the best time to have a kanji it gets the digestive juices all fired up and it's a great digestive and a great way to start a meal with all the probiotic goodness so this is the quantity you're looking at to consume um, every day at lunch it's really tangy enjoy